a feel-good story, and what better way to celebrate student athletes than to introduce them to their favorite Olympian, Chloe Kim. Last month, Mucinex Fast Max launched its small but mighty campaign to remind everyone it provides powerful multi-symptom relief in just one dose. As part of the campaign, Mucinex is supporting small but mighty communities by donating a total of $100,000 to five YMCA chapters across the country. The first one to receive that donation is the Weingart East YMCA right here in Los Angeles. So the YMCA is a safe space for a lot of our young people, especially our families and our kids that are in the area. It's a, it's a very vulnerable community here and a lot of our families are social economically challenged. And so having the Y create access and pathways for things that they normally won't have, it's, it's really important and key. So a donation like $20,000 from Usenex must be really exciting. What are your plans with it? We are so excited for the donation, super grateful for Usenex making this donation. Um, it's going to actually uh, provide opportunities for girls to go snowboarding, which is an opportunity that they normally would not have right. or access to. Um, we love to provide opportunities for non-traditional sports. So this does that. Teaming up with Mucinex is one of the most celebrated winter athletes in recent years, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Chloe Kim. I grew up in a small but mighty community myself, and I always think about how much support I received from those people and how they got me through such incredibly difficult moments and have been supporting me through the thick and thin. So it's kind of full circle being here today with all of you. I think the most memorable moment is Honestly, maybe my first Olympics. Uh, just because that was a goal I'd, I'd been working towards for so long, and to finally be there and do it, and, and with my entire family. And win, so, that's and a bonus. Win. Yeah, it was just such a special moment. And we're here at the YMCA in Weingart, and um, we donated, I believe, $20,000. $20,000. $20,000 yeah. to the Winter yeah. Sports Youth Leadership Program. What's some advice you would give for, like, a, a young athlete wanting to, like, make it, like, to the possibility of a gold medal? I really think it takes a lot of hard work and grit, but also it just takes a lot of love and like a willingness to do it. I dedicated my entire life to my right. sport and really just saw it through, got through a lot of very tough moments, but it all paid off in the end. Well, I'm super like uh, committed to girls in sports. And so our girls being on site, they get to see what they can potentially look up to and what their pathways can be. Um, whether it's snowboarding, golf or basketball, whatever the case may be, the opportunities are there.